right brothers and sisters a higher power is with all of us I'm Elder Ricard Shiar here it is with our patreon update for all of our brothers and sisters who are part of this family a gathering 144 YouTube and I, I thank you for being here it's going to be only a short brief uh, update on what will be going into for our loyal Patreon members, we do this once a week. It don't, this will only be one hour today, but a lot of impactful information uh, that will actually help brothers and sisters throughout this earth navigate through Jacob's trouble. How are you? Hope you're doing fine. For those who don't know, I am Elder Ricard Shaw of the Gathering of Christ Church, and I'm just here for our weekly update. There's a lot going on. A lot going on. First of all, uh, just for all of you here at A Gather 144, I know you've been waiting for us to come back to this channel, but we're waiting for things to clear up a little bit. So this channel will be back full force mid-December. Okay, mid-December, it'll be back full force. Don't worry about it. But in the meantime, make sure you tell people there's hundreds and hundreds of videos here at A Gather 144. Make sure you check to make sure that you are subscribed. YouTube is unsubscribing people. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Hit the, that's right, the notification, the bell, and tell YouTube you would like to continue to receive all notifications from A Gathering 144. So on your spare time, make sure this channel's still here. All right, so make sure you're still subscribed and tell others about this because a lot of information is on this channel that, that they'll need, okay? And you don't have time to be able to explain things and catch them up to where we are. Point them to this channel, and if they keep clicking on the videos, they'll, you know, they'll be brought up to speed. Now, let's jump right in because I got my Patreon members working, waiting. Uh, before I go there real quick, um... Let me tell you, there is some good news for those who were patient and listened, okay, and didn't panic throughout the, uh, the uh, media frenzy of this cold. There is some good news, all right? Just going to report this real quick, and then I'll give you a few updates of what we'll be talking about. Uh, the federal Dovic 91 shot mandate mandate suspended for businesses. Here's the latest update. This is CNET mainstream uh, uh, mainstream uh, information. This is not a conspiracy channel. It's a wellness channel. It's a CNET, which is mainstream under wellness. Federal COVID uh, Dovic 91 shop mandate suspended for businesses. Here's the latest update. Now, they were panicking people into getting something when really, they, hey, uh, all I can say is for those who are patient, good things come to those who wait, right? After getting blocked by a, by a federal appeals, OSHA has suspended enforcement of the mandate that was, that, that was slated to start in January. Okay, this is the latest news. The Biden administration's enforcement of the Dovic 91 shot required has been 
re requirement has been suspended by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. The mandate would require those working for businesses employing a hundred or more people to get fully shot up for businesses employing a hundred or more people to get fully shot or tested weekly by January 4th, 2022. Uh, the White House said it was blocked by a federal appeals court earlier this month, which ordered OSHA to not take steps to enforce the mandate and to wait until further court order. The requirement is designed to curb the surge in the case in the cases, hospitalizations and deaths caused by the virus, including the the, the variant. I'm very uh, uh, I'm very uh, careful with words here because there are certain algorithms, brothers and sisters, that will actually, you know, lead bots, satanic sentinels to the page with certain words that trigger them. And I'm speaking of that's right. They have bots. Folks, digital bots that listen in to, for certain keywords. And through that, through those keywords, it'll drive traffic, the wrong traffic, to the page and would have the page under examination. You can't say certain things. Okay. That, this is what freedom looks like. But anyway, the mandate is part of the President's Joe Biden's new employer uh, shop mandate issued in September and would cover over 84 million workers. The administration hopes to sway tens of millions of people into getting shot. Un unshot people are 10 times more likely as whatever they have to say there. I don't know the data. I don't care about that. The only thing that matters at the end of the day is that, yes, the mandate for businesses to actually impose themselves on employers, get, you know, you know, almost forcing people to get a medical condition, well, that's been overruled, okay? So what you would need to do is make sure you print this stuff out, go to the CDC webpage because there's stuff on there where they tell you this, and make sure if an employer independently don't know this or are trying to enforce certain things, that you have the right protection for, you, for yourself to secure your continual employment, okay? Just wanted to put that out there. That, that is good news. You have it there. And now, who knows? Who knows whether or not a business know whether or not these things have changed? Well, it's up to you to let them know, well, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing has changed as far as me being a good employee here. And I'm here to do business. Okay. So I wanted to put that out. Now, what will we be going into? Oh, Man, look at what we're going into on Patreon today. All right. The Bible teaches us uh, uh, in Matthew 24, Christ, our Savior, warned us. And he said, as in the days of Noah, then shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Well, in the days of Noah, they were marrying and giving in the marriage. Now, there were some weird marriages going on because why? Christ wasn't identifying regular marriage with Adam and Eve. One of the first commands in creation is for man and woman to be fruitful and multiply, to marry. That a woman is the husband's bone of his bones, flesh of his flesh. So when it says they were married and given into marriage, there were some other types of marriages going on outside of the righteous order. On top of that, all of creation was getting tainted by those who were dealing in these weird marriages. Laboratories, cross-splicing animals, all types of things. As a matter of fact, I went into the academy, some of the rituals of the Amorites showing you the origin of the pig. And this is why, even though the Most High say, well, you're not supposed to eat unclean animals, there's only one unclean animal that the Most High stated is an abomination that we are not even supposed to touch their dead carcass. Why? Well, I'm going to be going over into this and show you how when Christ says, as in the days of Noah, then shall the coming of the Son of Man be, that through the cross splicing, it would, e it would eventually 
lead to the cross splicing between species and people. So when we hear about a disease jumping from a pig or an animal into people, the only thing we think of is a disease, a swine flu or this, that, and the other. But really what they are conditioning our people to accept is the fusion of the two. The pig is an abomination. The Amorites and others made that particular animal for specific purposes. And I'm going to be talking about that on Patreon for the first 15 minutes, then opening up the line. This is what we'll be discussing. As in the days of Noah, pig, pig, pig kidney transplant shows we're living in a time of wonder. I'm going to segue over to, that's right, the doses of mRNA, Dovic-91, and solid organ transplant recipients. Is there a connection? I'm going there. Next, National Geographic. Look at look ye here, as in the days of Noah. Human-pig hybrid created in the lab. Here are the facts. National Geographic, folks. Oh, yeah, we find our stuff for the Academy, folks. We go in. So for the, those who aren't in it, hey, nothing I can tell you. But I'm just letting you know some of the things that we're going to be discussing on Patreon today. Uh, human pig hybrid created in lab. Here are the facts. So could it be that they are priming the bodies for certain transplants and all that with, 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 with the chemicals out there? Well, come over to Patreon and you'll hear about it. Last but not least, we're going to be going into the encyclopedia today showing what? The Encyclopedia of the History of Pigs, including, including the pigs, the pigs' position or the choice animal of the evildoers. The connection between pigs and human sacrifices. Why are they fusing people with pigs? Well, we'll be going into that on Patreon Today, a matter of fact, it's at 2.07. I was supposed to be there at 2 o'clock, so I'm seven minutes late. I'm going to segue over. We're going to do the first 15, 20 minutes to break down these articles. Then I'm going to open up the lines for our Patreon members. Okay, so let me give it all to you right here. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Right here, this will be the phone number where our Patreon members will call in. The lines will be open around 2.30. We're going to be 15 minutes. We're going to be out no later than 3, 3.15 the latest, okay? But I need to do my Patreon updates to let everyone know that nothing is by chance. They have compartmentalized all of these things, but there's an end game in sight for the evildoers, the fallen ones, the Nephilim powers that control this earth, that are leading politicians okay this is a spiritual war and they are changing people they've already started it all the first thing was convincing people to actually view pigs or swine as food going right in thank you for being being members of our a gather 144 body I'm glad you received the notification for those who are here for the first time, you can follow us here on A Gather 144. We'll be doing our Sabbaths here again starting mid next month. But in the meantime, we're guests at G O C C N Y C. Another thing I wanted to make, I'm going to tell you right now, the news is off the chains in the academy. The lessons are on a higher level. You'll understand the Bible like you've never seen it before. If you're not in the Hebrew and Bible Academy, you are missing it. A lot of research, a lot of uh, uh, em empirical facts we're going into that we, we actually study. Sometimes I'm up at night, early in the morning, putting things together. The most I bring me things and I'm writing it down, putting it down, all for that Academy outside of our regular lessons. Yes, 
You can receive a lot of food to navigate here. We're here, we, you know, we're here for you. But one thing about that class, the Hebrew and Bible Academy, folks, it's a singular focus on each topic that week. It's not all over the place. It's concentrated. And you can add that to your know-how, to your spiritual acumen as you grow in this truth. You can add each week, and it's like building blocks. And once you go through the full three months, you, you'll never see anything in this earth the same. You'll have, you'll have what? A biblical perspective on how you view everything. Nothing is by chance, and you'll be able to see into what's really going on in this earth. And the Hebrew and Bible Academy has been put together for exactly that. There's nothing like this, what we're doing in the academy on the earth. So, get in the academy. Okay? We kept it at a low price for a reason so that there'll be no excuse for people not to be there. We never went up, even though the equipment is more and, and, and it costs more to do it. The administration we had to add to actually be able to send out the information. It cost us more, but we have never went up on price because we want it to be affordable because our people need what? We need some type of institutionalized type teaching in a closed setting to build the academy exactly that. It's exactly that with news that's off the chains. So if you're interested in that, we're only in week four in which we'll be going into who's Edom and right now we're dealing with that pig thing. So I'm going to show you the connection of Esau and the pig. <laughs> and the pig, the Edomites and the pig this coming Sunday. We're only on week four. So if you enroll, we'll send you all three weeks and you can catch up between now and Sunday. If you have to work on Sundays or you're doing something else because that's the only day you have off, that's fine. We'll send you a link and you can actually view all of these lessons, the news and everything at your leisure. Okay, at your leisure at a convenient time for you. So just because you're doing something on Sunday doesn't mean you cannot be there to actually, that's right, join in and get this pertinent information that you would need in the last days. All right. Now. If you're interested in this, go to historytimes.org. Go there and roll. We have administration working around the clock. We'll get you what you need, get you in. You're welcome pack and everything will be there. And we'll see you Sunday. Now, in the meantime, I have some people waiting for me <laughs> on Patreon. So there you go. Patreon, a gathering 144. I'm out. May the most high be with you. Stay prayed up, sin not. We will soon see Zion, and keep in mind, a higher power, the Most High's power, is with us. That's right. They think they're controlling me. You think you're controlling me. See ya, Patreon.